Movie hunters don't always get the greatest representation. The hunters in Bambi are dangerous lunatics who burn down the entire forest. That guy in Jumanji is a big shithead. The hound's owner won't let him be friends with the fox. And then there's Predator, the big game hunter from outer space who comes to planet Earth for one reason and one reason only, to stalk the most dangerous game, Danny Glover. And sure, Predator looks awesome. And he's responsible for one of the best action movies ever made, as well as one or two of the worst. But when you really think about it, Predator is a terrible hunter. He's essentially the intergalactic version of that rich dentist who shot Cecil the Lion, if you remember that thing from last year that we all really cared about for two weeks and then aggressively forgot. He has no respect for anything. He flagrantly ignores hunting laws, thumbs his nose area at hunting etiquette, and generally behaves like some douchebag who bought a bunch of expensive gear on the internet and can't wait to kill something with it. Particularly the one in Predator 2. That guy doesn't give a fig about anything. Now. We know Predator follows some standard hunting rules. He abstains from killing a police officer because his X-ray Predator vision tells him that she's pregnant, and he ultimately declines to kill a child, although really the only thing that saves that kid is the fact that he's holding a plastic gun. But the rest of the time, the Predator is the science fiction monster equivalent of a guy with a shotgun asking you to hold his beer. That mask is probably their version of a trucker hat. He has an incredible advantage, all right? Like, he's invisible, he's got a targeting laser gun. Even if he's hunting illegally, which he almost certainly is, he should never get killed by what he's hunting, but he climbs down out of his tree stand to fucking punch Arnold to death. That's like someone going on a duck hunt and then wading out into the pond to choke a mallard. Let's look at everything Predator does wrong. First of all, he's not wearing a blaze orange vest, which is always dangerous. I mean, you're really taking your safety in your own hands with that one big guy. Secondly, Predator spends a lot of time hunting at night. Many states only allow you to hunt specific types of game at night, namely nocturnal animals or predators like coyotes and bobcats, and then only during specific times of the year. Some states prohibit it altogether, and night vision goggles are generally only allowed with several restrictions, if not outright illegal. So Predator is running around hunting non-fur-bearing, non-nocturnal mammals at night with night vision goggles. There is no way he's not drunk. He's also clearly not eating what he's killing. Pure trophy hunting, believe it or not, is frowned on by most serious hunters, and you're generally supposed to eat what you kill. I mean, he might be eating Shane Black or Jesse Ventura, but we know for a fact he doesn't eat Dylan's man, Hopper. Because they find Hopper and his entire crew skinned and hanging from some random tree in the middle of the jungle. That's not something an outdoor sportsman does, that's something a maniac does. Speaking of which, Predator is almost certainly harvesting more than the daily bag limit, which refers to how many animals you can kill in a single day. There's also a possession limit, which is how many animals you're allowed to have on you in transit or in the field. A few states have no bag limit, but many limit you to one or two animals per day for larger game, and as few as three per season. Predator kills way more than that. He takes out three seasons worth of mercenaries in a weekend. He kills a dozen dozen drug lords in an afternoon. He's like a redneck bombing around the forest on an ATV, spotlighting deer and shooting them in the face, which is another thing that's considered unsportsmanlike. Hunters generally don't shoot things in the head because that's the trophy part. We know for a fact that Predator has at least one skull with a gaping bullet cave in it. So imagine going over to your cousin's house and having him show you the mounted deer head on his wall. Only half of the deer's face is just naked, shattered bone because he blasted it in the eye with a shotgun. Regardless of how you feel about hunting, that's ghoulish. You generally try not to riddle your prey with unnecessary damage because A, you want a nice trophy, and B, you're planning on eating most of it, and picking pellets and fur out of a carcass isn't super fun. Going for a shoulder shot is standard, and even the occasional neck shot is okay because it preserves the meat. Predator f***ing maims everything he catches. He's blasting limbs off, chopping things in half, and occasionally blowing his prey completely apart like a meat balloon. Imagine someone hunting deer that way. You wouldn't just find them, you'd throw them in jail for all the crimes they were probably gonna commit. Unlike Tom Cruise in Minority Report, you don't need a psychic to know that a man who bagged his last deer by shooting its leg off and stabbing it in the heart is eventually gonna be responsible for a string of violent felonies. Predator also uses traps that are designed specifically to maim, which is hugely illegal. That thing that Topher Grace steps in would get Predator in serious trouble. And if it were triggered by a hapless fellow Predator, now he's opened himself up to criminal negligence. Also, the net gun that Predator uses slices into people's skin, but doesn't appear to be fatal. So unless he feels like losing his license, that's gonna have to stay on the spaceship. Predator is also using illegal bait. He uses a call that mimics people's voices. Basically, he records them and plays them back. Many states don't allow electronic game calls of any kind because <laughs> that's it's kind of cheating, isn't it? Also, we see that predators are not above using a dead body as a decoy when they pose an improbably deceased Danny Trejo in the jungle to fool his comrades. Now, in Canada and some U.S. states, it's illegal to decoy with dead animals, specifically birds. It, meaning you can't prop a dead bird up and then use a bird call to try and lure more birds because you're supposed to be a hunter, not a serial killer. You're gonna get smacked with a big fat fine of whatever they use for money in Canada. That's probably the real reason predators visit Earth throughout history. They're so buried in space fines they can only manage to put together a hunting trip once every century. The weekend when they got that flintlock pistol must have been a goddamn horror show. 
Even when the predators are hunting on their own preserve, things are clearly out of control. Okay, they build a giant pyramid full of aliens for them to hunt, and the second they get in there to flex their predator tech, they get super murdered. Picture the aforementioned dentist stepping out of his Jeep, drenched in $500,000 of hunting equipment, and instantly getting his head swatted off by an angry lion. That only happens when you aggressively ignore every single pamphlet they handed you on the drive out to the preserve. Predators also stock their game preserves like madmen. Generally, preserves coexist with conservation efforts. That's why they're called preserves. You hunt a certain number of animals per year while preserving the overall population. Predators drop their game in from the goddamn sky. Anything that doesn't get killed on impact is hunted down and obliterated within like 12 hours. That's not a game preserve. That's a f***ing boneyard. Yeah! Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and go down in the comments, and let's get like a GoFundMe started so we can buy Predator a blaze orange vest. I mean, that's, that's one thing, that's one problem that we can solve for him. Like, we can't correct his thinking, but we can at least get him the vest so he doesn't injure himself.